Jade Jagger is building her name into a million dollar brand. She has her fashion line, Jade Jagger, her jewelry line, Jade Jagger Jewels, and for Jade, creativity is in the jeans. You know her dad, he's rock icon Mick Jagger, her mom, activist Bianca Jagger, and Jade grew up surrounded by artistic geniuses like Andy Warhol. Jade, great to have someone who's in the middle of building their empire. I mean, we've got Jade Jagger Jewelry, We've got the residential business where you're designing condos with, with um, the li likes of Philippe Stark. You've got the event planning business. Uh, I got to read a quote from Andy Warhol because this kind of, I think your creativity was formed at a very young age. It says, I love Mick and Bianca, of course, your mom and dad, but Jade's more my speed. I taught her how to color and she showed me how to play Monopoly. She was four and I was 44. Tell me how Andy Warhol, probably the greatest artist of my generation, inspired you to your creativity today? Well, I mean, I think it's a credible pedigree to have to have been, you know, taught finger painting with Andy Warhol and um, all sorts of other things that he was doing with diamond dust. And so, yeah, he definitely, he definitely got my juices flowing and, and got me going. And I do remember my time in there and everything that was going on. Most people would say, okay, I'm just doing jewelry. You've got your jewelry. Then the, the Jay Jagger for you, talk to me about designing this, this whole residential concept. Well, a couple of years ago, I got together with John Hitchcock and uh, Philippe and, and started to work with them and created Jade Jagger for You. And our first project was in New York, the Jade. And so it and was, the Jade is a building. And the Jade is a building, yeah, in Chelsea. And um, yeah, it was really exciting. We, we worked on it. We created this pod inside it to kind of accommodate the space issues and just made this sort of beautiful kind of jewelry box. Um, object in the middle of the room like a piece of furniture you kind of unfold it and you have your kitchen and your bathroom and everything and yeah I mean we just kind of we we work on large buildings and and everywhere is kind of different but it's very exciting and talk, talking about the essence of the jewelry it's beautiful um, the essence of the jewelry I you know I was working with Garrett and I still am you know doing high-end jewelry and I really wanted to work on something that could hit like a kind of better price point and so I took a lot of my concepts that I've been working on for a long time the skulls and all the kind of like strong symbolic elements the lips which I've now brought into my whole where the lips come from uh, where could that come from I don't know I was just thinking like you know I was looking in the mirror and I was thinking those lips, lips. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> I, I can't imagine the, I, I I don't know where that whole lips thing would come from you know with the last name Jack you know what imagine. it actually was it wasn't kind of as closely linked at the beginning but then when I saw it and I kind of was working with it I thought you know what this is just too good and I think that it's worth it and, and you know I, I actually think that's an interesting kind of metaphor for and I've had a lot of very successful people on the show like yourself who have very pedigreed backgrounds whether it's Dylan Lauren um, uh, Warren Buffett's kids or whatever and the people who are so successful in their own right are very comfortable kind of saying okay here was the good and here was the negative with a very famous last name like Jagger. So talk to me how that flipped both sides. I think that you've got it, you know, and I think as, as you get more secure about it, I think there's a sense that you can play with it and you feel kind of comfortable. And, you know, I've always felt really proud that my dad's brought me up to, you know, both my mum and dad have brought me up to, you know, want to have some good integrity and some self-worth. But it's hard because I think all along people imagine that you're just loaded and, you know, that it's very easy. In fact, it can be more difficult. But I think it's like anybody's pros and cons in life. I think we kind of experience them in our own way so so how do you say what do you say to people who of course there is I always say something you have to grow up with the luxury of being hungry what lessons did your parents teach you or show you that yeah yes we are very affluent and we do have this kind of wonderful name with it opens up all kinds of doors but no this is the way you've got to do it. What's the great lesson for parents out there who are actually going to be raising kids in an affluent situation? I think it is really important to make your kids hungry and I think that when you see that they're, you know, they're working and they're striving in the right direction. I think you can reward that, but I think that you take away a lot. And I have my own teenage kids, and, you know, for me, it's very important that they understand that there's got to still be stuff to aspire to, that they can't just be given everything, and that they've got to, you know, want to, you know, yearn for it and burn for it. And I think it kills some creativity if you if you don't have the reason to do stuff, then it, you become complacent. What's next for JJ? Next is keeping all these babies groomed properly and making sure they grow into the superstars they need to be. Well, congratulations. Being that you have teenage children, I guess that would make Mr. Mick Jagger a grandfather many years into it. Incredible, yeah. huh? I don't know what's <laughs> happening to all of us. Jay, real pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thanks stuff. very Jay much. Jay Jagger, jewelry and fashion designer. More big idea. Straight ahead.